Welcome to the Paths of Ascension YouTube channel. This video is the first video in the Dark Parasitic Entity Attachment series. In this series, we'll reveal in great detail absolutely everything about all the different types of entities that attach themselves to humans. And I'll also teach you how to detect if any entities are attached to you. And if there are any, I'll show you how to remove them. Please subscribe to our channel now and click the bell icon so as to be notified as soon as we upload the rest of the videos in this series. You may have a dark entity spiritual attachment and not even know it. It's kind of like sitting in lukewarm water and as it gradually becomes hotter, we don't really notice the difference in temperature until it becomes uncomfortable. For some people, they may go about their entire lives believing that this uncomfortable feeling is normal. We become conditioned into believing negative events are natural and that we deserve it. It's only when we remove such entity attachments and we breathe a breath of fresh air, do we really try to figure out why we've been living in fear, anxiety, or anger for so long. Dark entity spiritual attachments come in many shapes and sizes. They can be conscious dark entities like earthbound souls or fragments of souls, demons, dark forces, dark ETs. Spiritual attachments can also be created through negative thought forms, psychic attacks, or deep subconscious manifestations that jump from one host to another. I will go into great detail about all the different demons, dark forces and dark ETs in the series. So keep an eye out for them. When we go through negative events in our lives, we harbor an onset of volatile energies. If we don't clear these energies, they can keep growing until they operate like shadow puppets around us, acting out our deepest fears. When we get over the experiences that hurt us, our manifestations can jump to feed off other people. Being accountable for our energy is a sign of spiritual maturity. There are multiple methods to deal with spiritual attachments. Burning white sage, palo santo or copal, helps transmute negative energies. Finding an effective healer who can understand what you are going through and perform a spirit extraction. Love and forgive yourself through trauma, in order to release the grip of negative emotions upon your body. There are also a lot of rituals that truly come down to a passage of one phase of your life, into another. Be mindful of what you are manifesting, and the true spiritual landscape of the world you live in. I found that the Ho'oponopono, path the pathway of such a deep and beautiful healing. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. If all else fails, try my personal favorite incantation. I forgive you, and I let it go. In part 2. Obi will go into detail about personal power and soul retrieval. Soul retrieval is a term used to define a healing method of returning lost or stolen human soul pieces or soul fragments. Soul fragments are part of the human soul, personal power, and parts of the energy of your energy field or aura. Soul pieces or soul fragments become lost or separated from people from the use of drugs, traumatic experiences, personal pain, or can be stolen by other people, or some spirits or dark forces. Make sure you check it out. Obi designed this series to teach and equip the average person with enough knowledge to effectively heal and protect themselves from any entity attachment or any psychic attack without the help of a shaman. After this series, you'll know how to do it all. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, so you don't miss the future parts of the series. Okay, see you in part 2.